What's up, Flashes, and happy Friday. I'm Sam. And I'm Amaya. And this is FCTV. Run, don't walk to buy this amazing product made by students from your very school. We are flashy fashion and we make wristlets and lanyards in all unique designs. So right now we're in production of making wristlets and lanyards. So whenever you buy like those little wallet things to have like ID and cards in um, or like just some place to put your keys that isn't small and able to lose track of them. My favorite part of this whole process of making lanyards and bracelets is probably seeing my work go to something impactful. All the money goes to the FC fashion program. When I get to help something like that, um, I take pride in it. The fashion pathway is the ability for you to get that like credit to graduate. We do sewing in the first class and then we learn to run a business in the second and third class. You get management experience and employability exper experience, and it's something that can look really good on a job application. And we also learn about how fashion is one of like the most polluting um, industries in the world. With like getting rid of home ec classes specifically, is the kind of dying skill of sewing. I joined the Fashion Pathways classes because I had always kind of been interested since I was younger, whenever they did like career dress up days, I would dress up as like a fashion designer. Kind of growing up and realizing how much my family had like sewing skills and some understanding of it. So finding a place within school that I could fit that in was important and fun. We have set an exclusive deal, two for $10. Our wristlets are going for the low price of $5. Our carefully crafted lanyard is only $7. Go scan this QR code to go buy it. So come buy our product. Everyone is invited to the annual Media Center Holiday Open House. This event will be held today during CCR time. Come enjoy refreshments, make some fun holiday crafts, play games, and check out our new books and possibly win some great prizes, including gift cards. Make sure you sign up for CCR in the Media Center this Friday. The Media Center staff hope to see you there. World Cultures Club will meet today upstairs in the FA in room 9241 during CCR. We'll be celebrating the holidays with crafts and games. All are welcome to join us. We hope to see you there. National Honor Society Class of 2025, all field trip permission forms and reservations are due to Mrs. Laker's class room 436 no later than the close of CCR today. No reservations will be accepted after that point. We look forward to seeing everyone at our holiday party in the Teddy Bear Talks. Author and lawyer Stephen Terrell is coming to FC today to tell his great, great uncle's story. In the early 1900s, John Terrell was found guilty of murdering his son-in-law and sentenced to death in an extremely high-profile trial. After a failed insanity plea, he was eventually sent to an asylum rather than death row. Listen to this riveting story unfold and weigh in with your own opinion during CCR in room 427. Sign up with Ms. Schaefer to attend. The Zoology Club will meet today during CCR for Mystery Animal Dissection Day. Come join us. Stuco is sponsoring a door decorating contest to help spread holiday cheer throughout the school this year. If your club or team is interested in participating, ask your sponsor to fill out the Google form sent earlier this week. The form must be filled out by Friday, December 6th, and doors will be judged during CCR on Friday, December 13th. So make sure your door is done before then. Suco will get donuts for the winning club or team to have at their next meeting. Riley Dance Marathon would like to invite you to a holiday movie night today from 6 to 9 p.m. We will have hot chocolate, popcorn, and cookies. Cost of $5 per person will go to Riley Children's Hospital. Remember, it's for the kids. Friendly Flashes will meet after school during CCR today. Please come ready for some holiday fun. Prospective sophomores and juniors with plans to attend Central 9 Career Center next year are reminded that Central 9 applications will be available starting December 13, 2024 through January 31, 2025. An application must be completed in order to attend Central 9 for 2025-2026 school year. The application will be accessible through the Counseling Office website link on the school website. Current C9 students have already completed their application while during C9 do not need to complete the Franklin Central version of the application. Attention Art Club, 
We are having our monthly CCR meeting today. We will be making chain mail jewelry. Next Tuesday, we'll be drawing names for our secret snowman event. Join us if you can. Now, will everyone please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I've been a firefighter for 33 years. Uh, I actually started when I was 16 years old as a cadet and I got promoted to captain in 2022, but I volunteered for, uh, well, I've been career for 19 years and I volunteered from 16 to age 30, so. Why, did, I know you said that you started when you were 16 and so obviously you kind of had passion for it, I'm guessing. Why did you want to get into be a firefighter? Um, good question. <laughs> uh, I'm a bit of an adrenaline junkie. Uh, I grew up in a, a family of service to others. Uh, everybody in my family is either in the medical field or a school teacher or something like that. So I just kind of grew up helping other people or you know, in that environment. I'm assuming that you still really, really enjoy it from then on. What would you say is like your favorite part that you've had? My favorite part? All of it. <laughs> All of it. Um, yeah, it's, it, it's exciting. Uh, you know, you, the tones drop. If it's a big fire, you get amped up, you're ready to go, and you're, you're prepping yourself on the way to the scene as to, you know, what you need to do tactically, what, what your responsibilities are, how you're going to handle it. You're thinking about your safety protocols, all my gear in place, everything's checked out. Uh, it, it's just exciting. And then you go and you put in hard work, or if it's an EMS call, you do something that really affects somebody on a, a personal level and improves their bad day. Mm -hmm. uh, and it just, it's very rewarding. You obviously respond to more calls than just putting out fires. Like what kind of stuff calls you guys respond to? Uh, we are an all hazards organization. So basically people call us for anything that they perceive as an emergency. Uh, I mean, we, any type of medical call, car wreck, uh, hazardous materials, uh, water rescues. What did you say um, is the, the most, most challenging part about being a firefighter? The most challenging part is probably processing the, the bad runs. Um, you know, learning to cope with those mentally, dealing with the emotional stress, not taking it home to my family. Over our careers, we see more traumatic events than, um, you know, even people who've been to wars and things like that. Those are a period of time frame in their lives where this is our entire careers. Um, so I say, Learning healthy coping mechanisms, uh, you know, I use like meditation and exercise and just being able to process that. Uh, we've got a lot of programs in place to help us with that, but that's probably the most difficult thing facing us today. I know I've asked what's the best part, but what would you say would be like the most rewarding that you just, you feel like, you know, you've really, you've done something important. Most rewarding thing about fire Most rewarding thing about When we get called to an emergency scene, 99% of the time, it's the worst day of somebody's life. Um, so being able to make a difference and lessen their traumatic experience in whatever way we can just is very immensely satisfying. And just to know you made a difference, especially when you get the opportunity of, of hearing someone tell you you made a difference. You know, I had, once had a security guard that we responded on who was actively having a, a serious heart attack. And, uh, you know, we did what we do and got him to the hospital quickly. And a couple weeks later, he came back by the station and, you know, said thank you and, and shook my hand. And it was, it was just immensely heartfelt. And it, it really made me feel good. Well, I'm very grateful for everything that you guys have done. and continue to do today because I mean it's incredibly difficult and you guys are much better people than probably I am um, so I immensely appreciate it. Baby, bye, bye, bye. There are a lot of cleanups meeting this afternoon. Be sure to check in with your club leader for times and locations. That's going to wrap it up for this week. Thanks for watching and have a have great, great weekend, weekend flashes. flashes.